Okay, the Halloween dilemma, okay? This is a time of year where basically, at the end of the day, y'all, whether you celebrate Halloween or not, check this out. There's a man driving down the street with a skeleton in the passenger seat, right? Man is in the car alone. Looks like he had on like a construction type jacket. Skeleton is in the passenger seat. So someone says to me, well, what if that's real? And see, this is why I'm here on Advanced Insight, okay? Because a lot of the people that leave comments, it's not just me that can think advanced or think ahead or have insight. Other people can do it too. That's a good point. What if the skeleton was real? But check this out. Whether it's real or fake, that person is gonna slide through the cracks because people are not gonna call the police because they're gonna assume it's fake because Halloween's tomorrow. And police officers are gonna assume, well, that's just his skeleton that he has for Halloween. However, I've been on this earth a long time, right? And I ain't seen nobody with the skeleton in the passenger seat yet. Not to say it ain't happened, okay? But I just ain't seen it yet. So the skeleton and the car. I mean, I can't see in the back of the car. How do we know it when some bodies in the back or the trunk or laying in the back? I can't see back there because it was so dark. It was dark, okay? So just remember, psychopaths, sociopaths, narcissists, people that do very bad things, y'all, not to mention all the missing kids that come on missing during the month of October through December. Most of them, statistically, from what I've read and studied on, come up missing right before Halloween or right after Halloween. And at the end of the day, if that skeleton was real, sitting in the passenger seat, he's going to slide through the cracks because everybody's going to assume that it's a Halloween skeleton. And when my relative said, because my relative is the someone that I was saying that said, well, what if it's real? That's advanced mind set. That's an advanced mindset to even think like that. And you know what I thought about? The height of the skeleton. It was about the height of a child. It looked like the skeleton height because the man was probably average height, 5'8 to 5'10. He was not a tall man, but the skeleton height was the height of maybe a 10, 11 year old, somewhere around there. So just be careful with Halloween, y'all, and just be mindful. I didn't get the license plates of the gentleman, but hopefully a good police officer kind of looks at it. And I mean, I think, I, don't, I wouldn't think it would be anything wrong with the police officer pulling him over just to confirm that it's fake. Don't assume. It's a fake skeleton. Because what if? What if that skeleton's real? And that's why we have so many cold cases in the United States, because not just in the United States, everywhere in the world. Everywhere in the world, there's cold cases. It's just in the United States, that's what we call these cases, cold case files. And a lot of times cases become cold because we assume that the skeleton's fake. The skeleton that's the height of a child riding around with a grown man 
That's approximately average height. With a construction worker looking coat on, a workman's coat or whatever you want to call it. So just be mindful of this so-called holiday because there's going to be things going on right around you and you just going to assume that, oh, it's just a Halloween item. Be careful, y'all. Be very, very careful. Watch your children. Watch your elderly relatives on this day. Middle age, youth, whatever age you are, watch yourself and be careful, y'all. The man and the skeleton in the passenger seat, y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. Thank you.